Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Scott, and today we are painting the Thunder Riders from Conquest The Last Argument of Kings. I've painted these as part of the Colors of Thunder paint challenge, and I'm using the colors of a Fiji banded iguana. So let's go ahead and dive into how I painted these models. To get this model ready for painting, I've primed it using Ultra Matte Black Paint Plus Primer from Rust-Oleum, but you could use any black primer that you want. We're going to start this project off by basing all of the scales on the model using Cyberite Green. This will give our green scales a minty blue undertone. Once that base color is in place, we're going to take Beal Tan Green and do a heavy wash of this over all of our green scales. After that shade is dried, we're going to take Moot Green and we're going to do a heavy coat of dry brushing over all of the green scales on the model. Our next step is to take Averland Sunset. We're going to dry brush this lightly over any spots on the scales where there might be a little more wear and tear, such as the nose, forehead, knees, and ankles on the model. I want to do white scales on the belly of this model, as well as stripes going down the side. So I'm going to begin by taking Dawnstone and basing all the areas that I want to end up white using this color. To add a little bit of extra depth to our model, I'm going to shade all of the gray areas using Seraphim Sepia, and I've diluted this down with just a little bit of water. Once that shade has dried, we're going to take Celestra Gray, and we're going to dry brush this lightly over all of the gray scales on the model. Next, we're going to do another layer of dry brushing, this time using Corax White, and this is where the scales really start to look like white scales. We're going to take a short break from working on the dinosaur and instead work on the rider. We're going to begin by base coating all of his skin using Corn Red. Once we're happy with that base color, we're going to take Carberg Crimson and use this to shade all of the skin. After we've allowed that shade to dry, we're going to take Mephiston Red and we're going to layer this over all of the raised surfaces of the skin, making sure that we don't paint this in any of the recesses. Next, we're going to take Evil Sun Scarlet, and we're going to do another layer over the raised surfaces of the skin, but we're not going quite up to the edge of where we painted with the previous color. Now we're going to take Squig Orange, and we're going to use this to highlight the sharpest ridges and details on the skin and face of this model. Our final step for the rider's skin is to take Reikland Flesh Shade and do a light wash of this over the skin. This will help blend all of those different red tones together. Now that we're done with the skin, it's time to work on the clothing on the rider. We're going to begin by basing the pants on the model using Dark Reaper. We're going to shade the pants on the model using Null Oil. After we've allowed that shade to dry, we're going to take Mechanica Standard Gray, we're going to layer this over all of the folds and wrinkles on the pants. Once we're finished with that, we're going to take Nagarov Knight and use this as the base color for all of the fabric on the dinosaur, as well as the shirt of our rider.
We're going to shade all of the purple fabric on the model using Druchi Violet. After we've allowed that shade to dry, we're going to take Zareus Purple and layer this over all of the wrinkles and folds in the purple fabric. Next, we're going to take Gene Stealer Purple and we're going to use this to highlight the sharpest edges on the purple fabric. We're going to base coat the more textured, scaly parts of the saddle using Baraknar Burgundy. Next we're going to take Screamer Pink and we're going to use this to highlight each of the individual squares on the scaly part of the saddle. With that pink highlighting done, we're now going to take Null Oil and we're going to do a heavy wash of this over the parts of the saddle that we've just finished painting. Our next step in this project is to take Rhinox Hide and we're going to use this as the base color for the horns, tusks, and any wood that appears on the model. We're now going to use Leather Brown from Vallejo as the base color for all of the leather and ropes that appear on the model. Now we're going to take Agrax Earthshade and use this to wash both of the different shades of brown that we've painted in the previous two steps. Once that shade is dried, we're going to take Baneblade Brown, and there are two things we're going to do with this color. We're going to dry brush this over all the leather on the model. We're also going to use this color to paint lines, beginning at the base of each horn, and extending about two-thirds of the way up the horn. Once we're done with that, we're going to take more gas bone, and we're going to do another layer of stripes on the horns, going about halfway up the horn this time. We're also going to base any teeth or bones on the model using this color. We're going to shade the teeth and bones on the model using Contrast Skeleton Horde, and you don't need to go too heavy with this shade. Once that contrast paint is dried, we're going to take Ushabdi Bone, dilute it down to the consistency of a glaze, and layer this over the raised surfaces on the bones on the model. There are some bits of stone on the sides of the dinosaur. We're going to base coat those using Mechanicus Standard Gray. We're going to shade the stones on the model using Nuln Oil. Once that shade is dried, we're going to take Dawnstone and dry brush this over the stones on the model. We're then going to do an additional layer of dry brushing on the stones using Wraithbone. All that's left to do in this project is work on the eyes. We're going to use Averland Sunset and very carefully paint this into the eyes of the dinosaur as well as the rider. We're going to quickly and carefully shade the eyes using Cassandor Yellow. and This is just designed to make it so that the recesses around the eye have a slightly darker tone of yellow. Our final step in this project is to take Abaddon Black and we're going to very carefully paint a dot in the center of each eye to serve as the pupil.
And with that, we finished painting our Thunder Riders. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, go ahead and like it, and then subscribe to my channel so you can see future videos I make. I'd like to give a special shout out to my channel members that make videos like this possible. If you would like to become a channel member, hit the join button below this video. As always, have an amazing day, and we'll catch you in the next one.